Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 125. Add a dashboard to your portal. Often when building a Power Apps Portal, there are requirements for some type of dashboard. While Portals does support adding charts from your model-driven apps, there is no way to directly embed a dashboard that was created via make.powerapps.com. So what are your options when you need a dashboard? I've generally taken one of two approaches. The first would be to use Power BI. You can embed Power BI reports and dashboards on your portal using Liquid or the Portal Studio. However, be aware of the licensing implications of this approach, as often this means acquiring licenses for Power BI embedded. This may not be practical if all you need is a basic dashboard. You also need resources that are capable of creating the required dashboard including applying row-level security so that the user is only seeing their own data. If Power BI isn't an option, or if we're just needing a basic dashboard, we will typically create a dashboard using a combination of HTML markup, fetch XML queries, the charts liquid tag, and the list liquid options. Using Bootstrap columns, it's pretty straightforward to create a layout similar to what you'd get with a model-driven app dashboard. From there, it's a case of adding the components that you want. In my last video, I demonstrated how you can use the chart liquid tag. In tip number 121, I talked about the options for adding lists via liquid. Note that unlike with basic or advanced forms, it is supported to have multiple lists on a single page, so this can work well for creating dashboards. If you're looking to display high-level KPI numbers, for example, the number of cases submitted in the last seven days, you can use the fetch XML tag to perform the queries and then display the count. By combining charts, lists, and fetch XML queries with a responsive bootstrap layout, you can create dashboards that meet a variety of needs. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 125 on adding a dashboard to your portal useful.